Hello, we are back. This is Jenna Gullah, the Executive Director of the Missouri Slope, Area-Wide United Way, and co-hosting with me today, Amber Jensen. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for sticking around in that lovely serenade that we were doing here. You couldn't hear us, lucky for you. Uh, but we are talking about United Way's campaign. We have just two more days before we wrap it up, and we haven't yet met all of the community needs, and so we need your help right now. Yeah, and we were talking about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, and if you are interested or you're from a local community and you want to get this started or you're trying to get more kids involved, call our office, 255-3601. And we are also talking about the Adopt-A-Classroom program and how people can get involved and volunteer with United Way so you learn and get that understanding of why United Way and why is that a good place to give of your time and your talents. You know, I just ran into Dawn Sackman. She's a member of our Women's Leadership Circle and just was talking to her this weekend. She was telling me how much fun she has volunteering for United Way's Adopt-A-Classroom. So she goes in every other week to Saxwick Elementary. She volunteers with the same classroom and she's really developed some great relationships with those kids. And you know, a lot of those kids, it's a high poverty school they they aren't getting that healthy love and attention at home and that teacher can only do so much when you have 18 to 25 kids in your classroom it's it's hard to give that individual attention without holding back on some of the other kids yeah and we've had a lot of businesses step up and say how can we help you know we are trying to get Plains Commerce Bank into a classroom we're working with KX they go to Wilmore Elementary we also have KLJ just signed on to get volunteered and so if your business is looking out to volunteer once a week twice a month you name it we'll try to find a classroom that we can match with you well and it really works if you're a business professional sometimes you can't give that extra hour every single week so take turns with other business professionals in your office and you still have a rewarding volunteer experience and you're still meeting the needs by being that positive adult role model in the lives of so many kids who aren't seeing that on a regular basis. You know, and other volunteer opportunities is the United Way Backpack Program. We're still looking for sponsors to help fill this year as well as volunteers to get those uh, bags and the backpacks out to those kids that are in need. People might not realize that nearly one in five children in Bismarck and Mandan are food insecure. That means that they're going without enough food and they're going hungry. Uh, so we started United Way's backpack program just a couple of years ago. And Kathy Wamsley is our campaign coordinator and United Way backpack program coordinator. Kathy, thanks for all the hard work. Did you have any idea how much work that would be? <laughs> I did not, but it's well worth it. So talk to us about what the process is, if there's individuals or businesses out there that want to sponsor the United Way Backpack Program. Yes, we have. Um, we actually have four openings left for packing um, backpacks for the rest of this school year. So our um, companies have been very generous. If a corporation or a business would like to sponsor a weekend, pack the backpacks, be able to deliver it to the local Bismarck and Mandan schools, that's $2,000 to sponsor a weekend. And then their staff gets to do that team building effort and see the great um, rewards of being able to um, pack those backpacks and get them out to the school. Or individuals can donate $5 and that helps fill one backpack. And so if a business wants to pledge the money or an individual, they they don't necessarily have to pay it right now to be able to fill those last couple of weeks of school. That's correct. You have until the end of 2016. You can make the pledge now. We can get you on our calendar and you can pay all of 2016 for that. And we really, really, really want you to get your pledges in right now. We have two days left of our 2015 campaign. We're going to be announcing our results at our annual luncheon, which is this Thursday. And Kathy and Amber have been working very hard at planning that luncheon. And it's available. We hope everyone listening comes. Yes, um, you can go to our website to register for that. We do still have a few seats open. 
or you can also go online at msaunitedway.org and make your donations that way. Yeah, and so we only have 25 seats left, and I want to say this. You can actually have my seat. I never sit down anyways, and I never eat during the event. I'm always running around. Uh, So we have 26 spots available. We're hoping to fill those up today. So call our office, 255-3601. Grab your business partners, and we'll squeeze you in. We'll make room. We fill the Ramcota Ballroom. Yeah, and we're excited. We'll have First Let Betsy D- First Lady Betsy Dalrymple, you would think it was a Monday, uh, there to give a special address to everybody in the community. And wow, what the support she's given. Um, I was talking to Sarah Johnson, her assistant, and they have 87% of the state covered for the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. So her support has really been tremendous to help us grow that program, not just in our 10 county region, but all across the state. And so we really appreciate all her support. And we'll have a lot of great awards to be giving out too. the Lifetime of Caring Award for those that are involved in our community in Bismarck Mandan and really just have had a lifetime of dedication of giving back. And so we have a lot of great things to showcase that day as long as if we're able to meet all of our community needs. So there are so many ways you at home can get involved with your community. Number one, attend our luncheon. It's this Thursday. It's $15 uh, at the Ramcota from 1130 to 1. And so it's short and sweet, but you'll learn a lot and you'll meet some really fantastic people. And I think you'll be impressed at the power of United Way and how it extends far beyond our office. Another way is to volunteer with the backpack program. Yes, if you'd like to volunteer with a backpack program, I have a list of volunteers that we can call on when we need help with packing the backpacks. We may need help delivering. Um, We've just um, increased um, to do the middle schools and high schools in Bismarck and Mandan, so the need is increased. It's um, we now have eight routes that we travel between Bismarck and Mandan to get those delivered. We also have food drives that go on all throughout the year, and those are where we also need help with packing. What types of food are you most looking for, Kathy? We like to have single servings. So um, we usually do two dinners, two lunches, two snacks, and two breakfasts in each backpack for the kids for over the weekend. So a can of soup, if they have pop tops, that really helps the kids out so that they can make their own meals so they have food over the weekend. Well, and the backpacks can't be too heavy, and they certainly can't have any glass containers in them. Because, I mean, if you think about some of these little tiny kids grabbing their bags for the weekend, I mean, it's, it's precious, really, but then it also really gets your heartstrings. Yes, it is just, um, it's just amazing to think that we're serving over 760 kids on the weekends now in the Bismarck Mandan schools, and all of these kids do take those backpacks home on Friday with them. Um, it's pretty amazing. Well, and it's a little different, too, for the older kids. Um, we had heard that, you know, some of them were embarrassed to get food. Yes, so we make it very um, inconspicuous, if you want to call it that, for the kids to be able to pick um, up the backpacks. Um, You know, we don't make a big deal of it. We have drop points where the kids can just go and pick up those backpacks. So if you have kids in need, um, please let the school counselors know because um, it shouldn't be embarrassing for those kids to be able to get that food they need for the weekend. So, Kathy, you also were able to recruit donors in areas outside of Bismarck. Yes, we have expanded now to Linton, Hazen, and Beulah, and we are doing 65 backpacks in those areas. So if you have a community need, um, please give us a call at 255-3601. And we can replicate that in your town. Um, The small town community support is just phenomenal. So raising that money for those backpacks is, is very easy to do in those smaller towns. Well, and you also have, um, sorry, Siri is picking up on our conversation here and trying to get in on it. Uh, Kathy, you've heard some, some heart wrenching stories from some of the counselors from both Bismarck and Mandan. Yes, they um, weekly talk about the kids that come in on Friday and say, are our backpacks here? Are we going to have to go hungry over the weekend? We packed the long weekend over the Thanksgiving weekend, and because the kids didn't have school on um, that Friday, they thought they weren't going to, and then they were had five days they had to worry about where their food was going to come from. So the counselors reassured them that, 
you know, we would be packing for the long weekend and making sure they were taken care of. So this has taken the, these kids don't have to worry about what they're eating over the weekend or if they're getting backpacks, we make sure they have one every Friday so that they can concentrate in school instead of worrying about where their next meal is coming from. And it's so easy to get involved. Sponsor a weekend of backpacks. It's about $2,000. Go to msaunitedway.org and you can click on the United Way backpack program if you want to designate your dollars there. If you can't afford $2,000, how about $5? $5 sponsors one backpack for a needy child in our area. And you might not believe it, but there are nearly one in five kids that go hungry in Bismarck and Mandan. And Actually, we just did a needs assessment, and I was surprised to learn that 10% of all children, you know, 0 to 18, 10% of all children in Bismarck and Mandan are living in poverty. That's 2,512 kids in our community living in poverty. Yes, that's very sad. And the need for these backpacks, we just see it. It varies. It grows every week. Um, We were seven 60 last week we're up to 763 this week so you can really see the need in our community is very high right now well and it's not just the united way backpack program as a way to give i mean that's an immediate need and that's something that everyone feels passionate about is making sure that kids aren't going hungry but we have the resources we have the people the food we need to really end hunger in the community and that's the the greater role that united way plays is we're trying to break the cycle of poverty and make sure that we're We're solving problems. We're getting case managers into the homes of many of these kids. We're making sure kids are reading proficiently by grade four because we know if they're not, they're four times more likely to drop out of school. We also are helping to build the skills and get the parents and even single people linked with jobs. The people who come to United Way programs, they really, they don't want to spend the rest of their life in the situation that they're in right now. They want to get back up on their feet again, and United Way is making that happen. Kathy, how can people get a hold of you? They can call 255-3601, or they can email at campaign at msaunitedway.org, and we can get you connected up with helping to volunteer. Yeah, or like us on Facebook. We're at Facebook backslash MSAUway. You have two days left to get your pledge in. Come back in just a couple minutes, learn more about United Way. Right now, 25. Super Talk 1270, home of the Bismarck Bobcats and high school sports. Listen online or anywhere on the Radio Pup app. Super Talk 1270. Welcome back to United Ways Community Talk. I am Jenna Gullo, the executive director of the Missouri Slope Area-Wide United Way and co-hosting with me today is Amber Jensen, operations and marketing manager. Good morning, everyone. Amber, you're trying to recruit some more folks for this Thursday end of our campaign. Yeah, come join us for our annual luncheon at the Ramcota Hotel. We'll be there from 1130 to 1. We still have a spot for you. Come join us for lunch. Also, help us recognize all our volunteers, all our generous donors and businesses that have given to this year's campaign to help make sure we're meeting all of our community needs. And so $15 will get you a ticket. You can call our office 255-3601. Go to msaunitedway.org, click on our annual luncheon banner and purchase your tickets directly through there. Bring your office or if you're not quite sure what United Way is all about or you keep hearing about United Way or Day of Caring, come join us. Uh, It's a really great opportunity to learn about all of the agencies that we support and just the work of United Way and how we go about selecting all of those agencies that we choose to support and looking at the needs in our community. Well, there are a lot of misperceptions about United Way. And there's always an email that goes around during giving season. It never it never fails. And we just address it head on because we think if you're an informed giver, you're the best kind of donor there is. And you're going to get more involved. You're going to end up giving your volunteer time as well, which is oftentimes way more precious than your dollar, an hour of your time. And so at United Way, we want to clear up a few misperceptions. People think we have high administrative expenses. Our last audit, we're audited every single year. Our last audit showed that we only had 3% for our admin expenses. We only have five and a half employees. 
uh, at the United Way. And uh, we're very efficient. It's locally the board and our volunteers that decide how donor dollars are used. We have a needs assessment where we look at the data. Uh, We want to make sure we're not just funding perception of issues, but that we're really targeting evidence-based programs and looking at the data uh, when we're making these types of decisions. Yeah, and you had uh, 62 volunteers this year reviewing those applications, so it's not just 5 or 10. I mean, we really get those volunteers out there, get them trained, so they have that understanding of, you know, how should you be reading data or what should we be looking for when we make these decisions. Well, and that's the thing. You listening right now today, you can sign up to be one of these reviewers and decide how your donor dollars are going to be used. What are those most important needs? They're very, very difficult decisions. And we want you to be a part of them because our United Way aspires to be a reflection of our community. So I want to make sure as the director that your dollars are going, number one, where they're needed the most and where it's most important for you as a donor to put them. We don't want to be just funding symptoms. We want to be targeting those root causes so that we break the cycle of poverty. In fact, uh, that's what our community impact volunteers look for. And joining us in studio is our community impact coordinator, Mr. Chris Block. And Chris, congratulations on, on implementing an another successful round of application reviews and really coming up with some great decisions. They're not always the easiest decisions for the volunteers and the board to approve, but they're very well thought out and there's a lot of time that goes into making them. Yeah, thanks Jenna and good morning everybody. Happy to be here. Uh, Yeah, definitely a great experience looking through at the applications we get and working with all the great people that donate their, their time and talents to helping us make sure that We use your donations in the most efficient and effective way possible. So this last year, what are some of the accomplishments of the Community Impact reviewers, the board, and in essence, the donors of our community? Well, we've really targeted our funds towards a couple different key issues, and I'm sure you've heard us talk about them before, but we target areas of education, income, and health, really getting at those key issues. Uh, One of the Real big issues I'm sure we've talked about before is helping kids make sure that they meet the benchmarks along the way uh, so that they can succeed in life, whether it's getting to school ready to learn on time uh, or reading by grade three or just graduating high school. Any of those things are are all very important in helping kids make sure that they're, they're ready for life. So we were talking, Chris, earlier about our education initiative, and we saw some uh, really significant results from this last year. Yeah, in fact, looking at at just this last year, we had a group of kids that were uh, actually struggling readers, kids who were behind, uh, kids who were not reading at the same level as the rest of their their class, and about 200 of them were able to read at grade level after after working with tutors and mentors. Well, and it was also their math benchmarks that improved. Yeah, in fact, looking at this group of kids about, well, these kids were 27% more likely to be meeting math benchmarks after working with, after working the, with this group of, of people that were supporting them. Well, that's fantastic. And then they were 20% more likely to hit their reading proficiency levels. And how are we going about that at our United Way? What have we found are the most effective ways to increase reading proficiency? Well, most direct way is to obviously provide outside of, outside of class tutoring to kids who need direct assistance, who need a little more attention, whether it's just having a foster grandparent come in and work with them one-on-one on learning sight words or flashcards or, or whatever it may be, or, or having more intense supportive services from, from trained volunteers who uh, implement those really research-based practices to make sure that they, they know how to read on time. Uh, we, also make, we also run the Dolly Parton Imagination Library through our office, and we've sent out about 225,000 books to kids around Bismarck Mandan, preschoolers who may not have access to those books so that they can come to school ready to read. And so it's not just about education. We have good school systems, but what we're finding is that a lot of these kids, especially kids that are growing up in poverty, are needing that additional assistance. And we're also making sure that they have safe places to go after school. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think about the traditional going to school and, and learning your reading, writing, and arithmetic, that's very, very important stuff as well. But if these kids have things going on in their lives that are keeping them from really focusing on school, uh, then that's something we want to definitely try to address and help them with as well. And so we do help children in an after-school program uh, where there's actually teachers, there's social workers, and they're allowed, you know, free time to also have some recreational time. And that's at the Mandan Middle School. Uh, we help children with one-to-one -one mentors, and we also link them with tutors. And these tutors read with kids every single day, at least five minutes a day. And that's what United Way is funding uh, and supporting because we know that there are a lot of kids that can meet these benchmarks and then will be more, uh, have more opportunity to graduate from school and to be successful in life. Chris, we also provide many, many other services in the Bismarck Mandan community. Talk to us about some specific stats in our area of what we accomplished last year. Yeah, absolutely. Just looking at going from kids to seniors, another population that sometimes needs some extra support. Last year, uh, United Way agencies provided 46,000 congregate and 38,000 home-delivered meals to seniors. And that's not just a few, that's 1,700 seniors in the Bismarck Mandan area. And those meals are more than just a full stomach. It helps them oftentimes stay independent so that they can keep living at home rather than having to move into a higher level uh, care facility. Uh, there's also some other different programs we've worked with some of our community partners to start. Uh, one would be our, our Parkinson's program at the YMCA, working with people who uh, have come down with this disease and are fighting some of the symptoms and really helping them uh, develop exercise techniques and practices to be able to address the symptoms of their disease. You know, a lot of things you may not necessarily think of when you think of United Way, but ways in which we're helping uh, the needy in our community. And we're not just in the Bismarck Mandan area either. We've expanded to the 10 county area that our United Way is responsible for. So talk to us about what other areas we're in and what we're doing there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the issues that we may not see all the time, but is definitely out there, is hunger in rural communities. Uh, if you look at the counties of Mercer County, McLean County, uh, several of the rural counties around us, in fact, I think actually all of the rural counties around us, we have mobile food pantries going to those communities to help people who are struggling with hunger. Looking directly at McLean County, almost 40,000 meals were provided to the hungry in rural communities last year. Uh, Mercer County, I mentioned, about 63,000 meals were provided last year. These are people who can't just you know, go to a, a food pantry or something like that, like people may have here in town, but have to have extra help on those mobile food pantries to get access to this help. And we're also trying to expand the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. The First Lady Betsy Doll Rimple has grown the program to cover 87% of North Dakota. So we still need that 13% covered. If you're living in a town that does not offer the Dolly Parton Imagination Library program, give our United Way a call. We want to make sure that kids are getting books into their hands from the moment that they uh, are born, and they'll receive a free book in the mail every single month until they're age five. Amber, how do people get a, get a hold of us and tell them about our annual lunch in this Thursday? Yeah, they can call our office 255-3601, go to msaunitedway.org, click on the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, or learn more. Join us on Thursday from 1130 to 1 at the Ramcota for the United Way annual luncheon. Tickets are only $15. Yeah, we haven't yet met all the community needs. We have two more days for this fundraising campaign, so go online and pledge your support. If it's $25 to sponsor a child in the Imagination Library for one year, $5 to sponsor United Way Backpack Program or help us to support some of those bigger needs like emergency assistance. And if you have a fire in your home, you want to know that your United Way is there. Join us in just a couple. Right now, 25. Here's Sean Hannity. Weekday afternoons on Super Talk 1270.
Welcome back. I am Jenna Gullo, the executive director of the Missouri Slope Area-Wide United Way. Co-hosting with me today is Amber Jensen, the operations and marketing manager. Good morning, everyone. Amber, you've been busy planning our upcoming event, the end of our campaign in just two days. Yeah, join us this Thursday, January 28th. I hope you have it on your calendar. If you don't have anything going on, come to the Ramcota. We'll be there from 1130 to 1, really celebrating everything that we've accomplished this 2015 campaign. Even if you do have something on your calendar, cancel it. There you go. We are that much fun. (laughs) (laughs) Come join us because, you know, it is really amazing when you look out into the ballroom and you see it jam-packed with business professionals, retirees, people who have supported United Way for decades. Or if you're just wondering, you know, what is all the buzz about United Way? What is Live United? And and what does that really mean? And, And what is the reach of United Way in our community? Come find out more. I mean, it really is a great opportunity to learn about United Way, learn about our reach in our community and all of our accomplishments that we've, you know, even just touched on in the 2015 campaign that will just continue to grow into the 2016 year. Well, and when you give through United Way, you can help one specific person. For example, you can sponsor a child in our Dolly Parton Imagination Library for one year, and it costs only $25. Your 100% of your $25 can go to sponsor that child. But you can be a part of something so much bigger because last year we helped 4,776 children be prepared to start school. So your $25 is oftentimes multiplied when you give through United Way. And I'll give you an example. There are many programs that we support when they apply for United Way dollars. They'll apply for a certain amount, but then that amount gets multiplied by 6 or by 10. Uh, Doug Herzog from YouthWorks used to always say, you give a dollar to United Way, they turn it into 10. And so you absolutely can and should give directly to many agencies that we support. Quite frankly, I don't care how you give. But when you give through United Way, your dollar goes from 1 to 10. And that's because of federal matching that's required by many of the agencies that we support. They have to have that local match. And even the collaboration piece and really getting these agencies to work together. And so if we have, um, if they're working with a client at Welcome House, they can refer it to, you know, you mentioned YouthWorks or maybe there's some job skills that they could get at Seeds of Hope through the Abused Adult Resource Center. So that connection, our agencies meet on a monthly basis and just that networking and working together is huge. And without the United Way, you know, they might not ever talk. Yeah, and we certainly wouldn't be tracking outcomes without the United Way. Uh, We have been focusing a lot on outcome measurement these last few years because our business community expects our United Way to operate like a business, and we in turn expect our agencies to operate like businesses. We don't want to be throwing money away. No one does. You know, in in this campaign and through the last year, we've had a lot of success with a lot of these programs that we partner with through United Way. And during the break, we were talking about one of the foster care child that you used to have um, was that last campaign, I think. And so you hear all these stories and how much of an impact all of our partner agencies can just have on one child is, is pretty huge. It really is. You know, I had a child that was supposed to have her for two weeks. And there was no one else for her to go. So I do foster care, in case you didn't know. Uh, And she ended up living with me for nearly half of the school year. And she'd come to the United Way office. Uh, It was pretty funny because the gal was a freshman at BHS. She had never studied a day in her life, didn't really even understand why would she study. She didn't understand even the concept or how to study. And so we taught her how to study. I remember many days we'd all be down there trying to figure out her math problems. (laughs) Literally all of us. (laughs) Which took a team. It took a team. Takes a village, right? Um, And I remember... I drove her one night. We went to Brea here in Mandan, and it's a store downtown. And my, I was telling her my optometrist owns that store, and Dr. Eve Kostalecki had a fundraiser for our United Way. So we're coming back from the fundraiser, and I was telling my foster child, the ninth grader, what you had to do to become an optometrist. And I'm explaining all the steps and I'm saying, well, honey, first you could do this or then you had to, you know, would have to go there. 
And we were at the stop sign on front in Washington Street. And she said, she looked me dead straight in the eyes. And she goes, Jenna, I never thought that was a job for someone like me. And I just, I looked at her because she had been living with me for a month or two at that point. And I, honest to God, didn't realize what a divide there was. She saw my life and she had no comprehension that it could be her life if she wanted it to be. Uh, She told me, you know, her mother has only worked at hotels, cleaning and the overnight shifts. You know, her uncle's a drunk. I mean, that's, that's who she had in her life. And so she not only, you know, didn't have the tools to get there, she didn't even see the path or feel that that path was her own to take. And it makes me understand, especially running the United Way, that number one, we have to intercede at a very early age, which is what we're doing. Number two, we have to be very intentional about being a part of these kids' lives. And, you know, in number three, we have to give them the tools. We have to help them to see the path and give them the tools. And that's what we're doing through many different facets, not just with money, but also through volunteer time. Yeah, you know, we know 29% of youth in our community don't feel they have a positive role model. And so when we saw that in our last needs assessment, it was, you know, how can United Way step up, raise our hand and and get involved? And that's really when the women's leadership circle said, well, let's do the, you know, let's, you've talked about the adopt a classroom program. How can we make that become reality? And so the women's leadership circle goes to Saxvig Elementary two times a month and they get to have recess with the kids. They get to eat lunch with the kids. Sometimes, you know, I think I have dates for lunch for the probably the rest of the school year because those kids just want someone to talk to. They want someone to be able to look up to. And then they also get a focus on math or reading, depending on what grade you're in. You know, if you're in the kindergarten class, it might be more focused on reading and making sure they know how to hold their pencil because that might not be something that the teacher's you know, have time. You Like you say all the time, they have 18, 25 kids in their classroom and they just really can't do it all once, you know, they're already focusing on so much as those teachers. We have really great educators in our community, but they, it's nice to have that extra helping hand. And so that tutoring and mentorship has been a huge component of what we do at United Way. Give to United Way. We need your help to meet all the community needs. You can go online to msaunitedway.org or call our office because you can make a pledge now. You have two days. We're going to be announcing on Thursday at our luncheon. We hope you'll be there. We're going to be announcing our campaign results, our achievements. It takes a village. We are serious. We would not be able to do this work without our amazing volunteers. But, you know, this last year, your United Way here in the Bismarck Mandan area linked 3,300 students with mentors and tutors, 3,300 students. And just so you know, we're focusing your dollars on evidence-based programs and strategies, and we're saving the community money in the long run. So every year that a child repeats in in school, every time they're held back, it costs our community community $11,420. $11,420 every time a child is held back. And if they do not graduate from high school, it ends up being a loss of $260,000 in earnings, taxes, and productivity. So at United Way, many of our programs are targeted towards breaking the cycle of poverty. So you have two days left. Be a part of the change. It's really incredible. Yeah, and if you're looking through your taxes right now wishing, oh, I should have maybe tried to find a tax credit at the end of 2015, and so you want to get an early start on that, consider giving $5,000, $10,000 to the United Way Endowment Fund. Right now in North Dakota, you can get a 40% tax credit. And so if you want to make a big splash in these last two days, contact our office, 255-3601, and take advantage of that credit. Well, and again, you can make your pledge now, and you have through the entire campaign excuse me, the entire calendar year to pay on that pledge. So let's say that you are looking at your current tax and saying, darn, I wish woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, let's, let's change that for your next tax year and make that pledge. It'll count towards our campaign results, which we're announcing in just two days. Uh, and then you can take that tax deduction next year. It actually will carry over 
for up to three years. And this is for individuals or businesses. You get a 40% tax cut. And so tax credit, excuse me. And so give $5,000. it will have an out-of-pocket cost of $1,600. Yeah, that really goes a long way when we're looking at our community and, and all of those needs. You know, earlier we mentioned we're still looking for Four, four weekends to be filled for the backpack program. And so if you're a business out there wanting to get involved, wanting to, you know, have your name on something that really gives back to the community, call our office 255-3601. We can make sure we make sure all of those weekends for the backpack program are filled this year. Well, and 99% of your gift stays in our Bismarck Mandan area, or if you want to designate it to Beulah or Hazen or Linton, we've started the United Way backpack program there. 100% of your dollars, if they're designated, stay here. They don't get shipped off to national. In fact, any financial decisions that our United Way makes are made by local community members. You can be a part of making those decisions. Many people think that we support Planned Parenthood. That's a fallacy. It's just not true. We never have. We never will. We have donors on both sides of that issue. Some people even thought this year that we support gun control. Again, that's ludicrous. We never have. We never will. We have a very small staff that works hard and works hard for you and to make sure that your donor dollars are used as efficiently and effectively as possible. And I know any Joe Schmo out there might not know where those true needs are and you want to help, you're just not sure where, come to United Way. We want to make sure that we're covering all of the most important community needs and we need your help right now to do it. We have two days left. So please call our office. We're 255-3601 or go online and make your pledge today at msaunitedway.org. Sponsor the United Way backpack program for 2000 Sponsor a backpack for $5. Join us. We hope to see you on Thursday and we'll announce our achievements. ABC News, Super Talk 1270. Accurate news, stimulating talk. This is KLXX AM, Mandan Bismarck.